All right, so I want to uh, show you guys how to generate uh, many terms of an infinite series, such as uh, this alternating series right here, using Excel or Google Sheets. I'm going to use Excel in this video. Google Sheets works very similarly, so if you don't have Excel on your computer, Google Sheets will work just fine. So I'm going to go to Excel, and I want to start with an A column. I'm going to just do the index K. So with this series, I'm going to start at K equals 1. If I start at 0, I'd start at 0. But for this series, K equals 1. So I'm going to start with 1, 2, 3. And let's say I want to get, let's say, 50 terms. Now Excel or Google Sheets does, it'll pick up a pattern. So if I highlight this, get the black plus sign in the bottom right. And then you just need to click and drag. And it picks up the pattern, and I'm going to go down until I get to 50. And notice I do have to go one extra than 50 since my first cell was the label index. Okay, now I'm going to do generate the terms, which in this case is minus 1 to the k over k squared. And so I notice that this top row is just labeling. And I'm going to do equals. In Google Sheets and Excel, you have to start any function command with an equal sign. And I'm just going to type up minus 1 to the k. But I'm going to change this index. So I'm going to click on a2. And then divide it by a2 squared. So this should just be minus 1 when you click enter, because it's minus 1 to the minus 1 over 1 squared. And now what's nice about Excel or Google Sheets, see that little green plus sign in the bottom right? If I get my mouse to hover right above, see the black plus sign? Just need to double click. And it generates all these terms of this infinite sequence. Notice this is a sequence, not the series. So if we go right here, this is just plugging in minus 1 to the 25, divided by 25 squared, which gives us this fairly small negative number. Now if I want to generate the series, I need to start adding these up. So series minus 1 to the k over k squared. And, uh, if you need to uh, automatically enlarge um, a column, just double click between the columns and it will open up. So the series, notice the first term is just the first term. So I'll click enter. And now what I want to do in this cell is I want to add up minus 1 plus 0.25. But I don't want to do this cell by cell, so I'm going to click on the first term, which is C1, plus B3. So notice I'm adding the first term plus the second one. Now notice what happens if I highlight this, make a black plus sign, and let's just drag it down to 1. Let's see what happened right here. What is this number? This is taking C3, and this is the, the first two terms added together, and then we add the third term to get the minus 0.6. And I could drag or double click, and there we go. I've got my infinite series, and you should be able to show minus 1 to the k over k squared converges. Actually, it converges absolutely. So if we look at our our numbers, they're going to get closer and closer and closer together to the actual value.